Hi guys, it's Mia, and I'm here with Performing Etiquette this Friday. Last Friday, I had um, Audience Etiquette, so that was for people that sat out in the audience, and if you are going to a show such as Nutcracker, you know it's December, um, check that link up below to know how to be the best audience you could possibly be. This video is about performance etiquette, so if this is your first time performing, or if you simply just want to know what you're supposed to do um, when you perform, or... Um, of the audience. If you as the audience just want to know how the performers are supposed to be acting backstage, this is the video to be watched. Alright, so my first tip of advice is that um, just because you are backstage, that does not mean that the audience cannot hear you. Um, you'll obviously have a less chance of being heard if there's music playing or, um, you know, something like that going on, more distractions to the audience. But um, just because you're backstage and just because the curtains might be drawn together, um, that doesn't mean the audience can't hear you, especially when the curtains are drawn together. You have to walk behind them. And uh, before performance, after performance, and intermission, um, you can still hear them talking. <laughs> um, so I, that has actually happened to me before. I went to a friend's play musical. It was Oklahoma. It's a musical. Um, and... He actually, his mic was still on, um, and intermission had just begun, and um, he was talking to someone, and his mic was on, and you heard the first couple words, and then it turned off, but you could still kind of hear him backstage. Um, that was a school performance, um, and it was opening night, too, so I guess you kind of get a little slack on there, but um, that's just kind of my example with that. That also applies, some places have the curtain or the backdrop behind the stage, um, especially when people walk behind it, it tends to move, but you can also be heard walking behind that, so be careful. <laughs> um, just because you can't see the audience from where you're standing, that doesn't mean the audience can't see you. Certain seats in the audience can see parts of the backstage wing, especially if you're sitting on the right or the left wall. Um, you tend to be able to see the backstage wings more, um, so just don't be doing stuff back there that might embarrass you if you people saw you doing it. Um, don't try to do things to distract the audience from the show. This actually happened. I went to Moscow, Moscow's ballet, Moscow, Moscow Ballet's performance of The Nutcracker this past weekend, and I was sitting um, on Orchestra F, so I was actually near the front, but I was on the right, and um, so I could see the stage left, like backstage wing, and one of the dancers was back there, um, like just being crazy, and he was he was distracting me from the performance, and um, he was joking around with someone else, I guess, on the other side of, on the right wing, because he was laughing and joking and stuff, but anyway, I could see him, and um, I don't know if, you know, the Russian ballet would necessarily like it to know that um, I saw that, so, you know, that could just be a distraction. Um, don't walk out into the audience with your costume on. <laughs> this is a huge distraction, especially if you walk out in the middle of the show. Like, maybe during intermission might be okay, but you really don't want to walk out with your costumes, because A, it kind of spoils the performance, and B, it is a huge distraction, and some audience members can perceive this as, um, kind of just informal, the performance as being informal, so, um, and most performances like these are pretty formal, so... You don't want it to be like that. I had a dance studio once where you were allowed to do that. You were allowed to walk around the whole entire Coliseum um, auditorium place. You're allowed to walk around the whole place um, in the middle of the show in costume, whatever. And my previous dance studio would not allow that. The owner herself would come out and she would take you backstage with her. She would be so mad if you did that. And so that was weird for me and I didn't really know what to do. Uh, <laughs> so if you're going to have to go in the audience, we were always told at my other dance studio to change into your finale costume our finale outfit, which was shorts and the dance t-shirt for that year, um, or we're just change into something else, you know, don't, if you have to walk out there, don't walk out in your costume. Be sure you know when to, um, enter and where to enter on the stage, as well as where to leave and when to leave, um, it's more important on where to enter and when to enter, um, most of the time you'll know this, but if you come in running late, running late on stage or something like that, or you come in the wrong place, it's A, going to be embarrassing for you, and B, it's also going to make your company look bad. So you really, really need to know when and where to enter and leave, um, cues, all sorts of stuff like that. And that leads to my next and last piece of advice. Show up to the dress rehearsal. Most things like this do have a dress rehearsal either the night before, the week before. Some of them have multiple dress rehearsals beforehand, either, um, like, one at the actual, like, theater and then two or three at your studio or wherever you're doing it. 
Um, so be sure to go to the dress rehearsals because this will help you a lot and also relieve some pre-performance anxiety because you're going to know what to do. And um, make sure you know your music, your choreography, your lines, whatever you need to know. Because <laughs> if you don't, it's also going to be embarrassing and it's gonna. It's not necessarily going to make the company look bad if you don't know it because it's more you are supposed to know it, so it's just going to make you look bad. Um, some people might think of it as making the company look bad, but from my point of view, I'd, I'd just be like, oh, they don't know their lines. Well, they obviously didn't look at them. You know, if everyone else knows their lines and you don't, that's going to be pretty bad. So dress rehearsal is also very important, which also helps you to kind of get a feel with your lines because, you know, when to say them, where to say them, and you're saying it on stage or whatever. Same with choreography and music, you know. It just all feels better when you have the dress rehearsal. And I don't know about y'all, but when I have a dress rehearsal, I feel so much better about the actual performance. Okay, so if you have any other ideas about this video, any other suggestions, comment below, make a video response. I highly encourage this. I really want to hear what y'all have to say. Also, follow me on Twitter at Mia Renee Cole. It's uh, down below, as well as like my Facebook. Check out my second channel and my blog spot, blog post, whatever it's called. <laughs> and this is all be linked below, so definitely check all that out. I will have a new dance journal up soon, as well as footwork, yay! Footwork, footwork, do the footwork dance, do the footwork dance, uh -huh. And I'm trying to get to 200 subscribers by Christmas. God, I don't know how many days we have, because it's December 2nd today, but actually today I'm filming as November 30th. So we have, guys, exactly 23 days for me to get to 50, 50 200 subscribers. And I have like 150 something, like 154. So come on, step it up, please. I will be so happy if I can have 200 subscribers by Christmas. Like I will give y'all so much footwork in the month of January. It won't even be funny. Like it'll just be like, oh no, she's got another footwork video. We should post another vlog where she's just talking and talking and talking about things. She's gonna post footwork and blah, 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 blah. okay. So I'm trying to get 200 subs by Christmas. Spread the word. You know, subscribe to me and then unsubscribe to me the day after Christmas. I don't care. As long as I have 200 subscribers by Christmas, I'll be a happy little person. Okay, so that's all I have for today. I will see you guys soon. And, um, keep dancing. Alright, bye.